Most warrants issued today are criminally invalid. The overwhelming majority of warrants executed in the United States today violate the clear mandates of the Fourth Amendment and, by extension, the constitutional rights of citizens. The Fourth Amendment explicitly requires that no warrants shall issue but upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation. This probable cause must be based on a sworn statement from an actual victim or someone directly harmed by a criminal action, ensuring that the warrant has legitimate cause. Forgery of Official Documents Modern warrants, which are issued without a sworn statement from a victim, are essentially forged documents. They claim the authority of the Constitution and the judiciary. But this is fraudulent because they lack the core requirement of probable cause backed by oath. They are unconstitutional written instructions from the judiciary to the executive, essentially authorizing law enforcement to commit crimes, namely, to seize persons and property without constitutional grounds. Invalid instructions and oath violations. Judges and law enforcement officers swear oaths to uphold the Constitution. Issuing or executing a warrant that does not conform to the Fourth Amendment's requirements constitutes a violation of that oath. Rather than serving as checks on each other, judges and law enforcement officers have turned into co-conspirators, using these invalid documents to circumvent constitutional protections. This is not just a breach of duty, it is an active criminal conspiracy to deprive individuals of their rights under the guise of legal authority. The Constitutional Framework and Supremacy of the Fourth Amendment The Supremacy Clause of the Constitution, Article 6, Clause 2, makes clear that the Constitution is the supreme law of the land, overriding any state or local law that contradicts it. The Fourth Amendment is an inalienable right guaranteed by the Constitution, and no law or local jurisdiction can create policies or procedures that invalidate it. Reaffirmation Through the Supremacy Clause the Supremacy Clause reiterates that all laws, judicial rulings, and enforcement actions must align with the Constitution. Judges who issue, and police officers who execute, warrants without following the Fourth Amendment's requirements are acting against the supreme law of the land, and their actions are null and void. Any warrant that does not meet the Fourth Amendment standard is constitutionally invalid, no matter what state or local law enforcement claims multiple reaffirmations in the Bill of Rights. The Constitution reinforces the supremacy of individual rights repeatedly. The Ninth Amendment ensures that rights not specifically mentioned in the Constitution are retained by the people, and the Tenth Amendment, often misinterpreted, does not give states the power to pass laws that violate constitutional rights. It affirms that any powers not delegated to the federal government remain with the people, but it does not, under any circumstances, allow states to pass laws that infringe on constitutional protections like those found in the Fourth Amendment. Warrants Without victim sworn statements are unconstitutional. A proper warrant requires more than just a judge's signature. It demands the sworn statement of a victim who has suffered harm. This is the basis of probable cause as outlined in the Fourth Amendment. Probable cause must be rooted in an actual crime, a violation of someone's rights, property, or person. The absurdity of victimless crimes. A crime by definition requires a victim. So-called victimless crimes, offenses where no party has been harmed, cannot logically give rise to a legitimate warrant. Warrants for crimes like drug possession, where no victim exists, are unconstitutional. The state cannot serve as a proxy for a victim. The state's role is to protect individuals, not to invent crimes or act as an injured party. Forged Warrants Without a victim's sworn statement, modern warrants are fraudulent on their face. They are not supported by real probable cause, but by an arbitrary assertion of state power. In this sense, they are forged legal documents, authorizing unconstitutional actions against individuals. Collusion between judges and law enforcement. The checks and balances system established in the Constitution places judges and law enforcement officers in separate branches of government for a reason. They are meant to hold each other accountable. When a judge issues a warrant based on law enforcement's request without the required victim statement and law enforcement executes that warrant, both are complicit in violating the Constitution. 
judges and police officers take oaths to uphold the Constitution. By issuing and enforcing illegitimate warrants, they are actively violating these oaths. This collusion turns the judiciary and law enforcement from defenders of liberty into agents of state overreach, conspiring to deprive citizens of their rights under false pretenses. The Declaration of Independence and the Right to Resist Tyranny The principles laid out in the Declaration of Independence reinforce the idea that governments exist to secure the inalienable rights of individuals. When the government, through its judges and police, violates those rights, it no longer operates with legitimate authority. The Declaration of Independence makes it clear that when a government becomes destructive of the rights it was created to protect, it is the right of the people to resist and demand the restoration of justice. In this context, unconstitutional warrants that violate the Fourth Amendment represent government tyranny, and the people are fully justified in rejecting and challenging them. Conclusion Most modern warrants are criminal acts. The overwhelming majority of warrants issued and executed today are unconstitutional because they lack the core requirement of probable cause backed by a sworn statement from a victim. These warrants are not only invalid, they are forged documents that represent criminal actions by the judges who issue them and the law enforcement officers who execute them. The Supremacy Clause guarantees that the Constitution is the supreme law of the land, and no state or local jurisdiction can override it. Judges, law enforcement, and legislators are all bound to uphold the Constitution, and when they fail to do so, their actions are null and void. This widespread disregard for the Fourth Amendment and the rule of law is a betrayal of the sacred oath that public officials take to uphold the Constitution. The system of checks and balances is being undermined by the collusion of the judiciary and law enforcement, turning constitutional rights into mere suggestions that are ignored at will. The people, as outlined in the Declaration of Independence, have the right to resist and demand that justice be restored.